Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to talk about functions in shell scripts. So functions are basically used to implement the dry principle uh, like any other language. So do not repeat yourself basically. So you write code once and you can use it anywhere, right? And in this video I'll show you how you can create functions in bash script, how you can call them, right? And let's just start. Let's get started. So uh, we'll actually write a shell script rather than going into uh, theory of it, right? So I'll just create a shell script called functions.sh and in this I'm actually going to implement some file operations, right? So let me first uh, go do the shebang and bash, right? Okay, so there are two ways actually to create functions in shell script, right? So the first one is you can actually use the keyword function and then the function name, whatever you want to give, X, Y, Z, right? Or else you can do which, which I prefer is start with the function name, X, Y, Z, and with parentheses, right? And then you open the curly braces and close the curly braces. So these are the two ways you actually create functions in shell script. I'll be using the second one, right? Because that I, that's the notation I prefer. Okay, so let me first echo something. This script uh, ah, script performs file operations all right and that would be read uh, then I can do create and delete so I'll perform just three operations, right? Okay, so I'll write the first function and that would be the usage function. And usage function would is going to basically tell my users if they provide any invalid input, the usage of the script, right? So what, uh, what are they supposed to basically do? So let's open a usage function in the curly brace. And here I'm going to do echo dollar zero which would be the name of my shell script right and then it would need so it would need probably absolute path to the file and operation as input and in operation we can have only three values which would be r c and d which was uh, read create and delete right okay so this is going to be my usage function now i need to take two values as input right so let's just read and I would say input absolute path of the file. And we need to give a space here and then I will take say path and the second would be to input operation type and that would be CRD right create read or delete and that would be ops right now I'm going to create three functions so first function would be create file and this is what it is simply going to do a touch on dollar path, right? It's going to create the file. The next function would be read file. And this is what is going to do a cat on dollar path, right? And the last function would be delete file. 
and this is going to do rm hyphen rf uh, you should avoid a rf but i'm doing it for the sake of this script uh, dollar path right now i'm going to do a case right case dollar uh, It would be dollar ops in and then we can do first would be create file right uh, we are going to call create file function if the input is C right then it would be R and what I'm going to do is call read file function. Read file, yeah. And the last would be delete. And here I'm going to call delete file function, right? And for the rest of the inputs, which is basically represented by st asterisk, I'm going to call usage. Okay. And then we are going to close the case statement with ESAC. Okay. So this looks pretty much good. Let me just save the script. Uh, let me add execute permission to functions functions.sh right let me clear the screen and now we are going to run this so this script performs file operations read create delete right so let's provide um, I think this is not looking good what I can do here is basically go into VI and over here I can give a colon right looks better okay let's save this and run it again so yeah input absolute so I would say say TMP slash my file okay and then since this file does not exist uh, and in this script i have not added any checks or anything like that so i just this is just an example script otherwise you would actually add the checks to basically see if the file exists or not right so since the file does not exist i would create this so i have done a c and no errors so let's just do an ls hyphen l on slash temp and you can see my file is created great so create functionality is working now what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to echo say hello world to them my file hmm. writing existing file yeah doesn't matter okay so now temp my file we could just simply do temp my file hello world okay so now we have some content in my file right so now again we run our script and I'll again give slash temp my file and this time I would give read operation and you can see it has printed out the content right and let's perform the last operation as well again temp slash my file and this would be D and if I do ls hyphen nrt on temp there's no file so you can see how we utilize functions so we wrote I mean if I just do cat on so we wrote three functions right 
in fact four functions we wrote one for the usage okay so we didn't do anything for the usage let's try that as well let's see if we are seeing the usage functionality so let's do temp my file and instead of crd let's just do f so you can see it gave me the usage right what's the usage of this file is cool so all the functionalities are working so yeah i was going over function.sh so you can see we wrote four functions one for usage and rest for our functionality which we wanted to implement and then we made use of case statement and how we call these functions each for each type of operation right you can do it in if statement as well if you if you don't want to do it with case i find case actually easy to implement compared to if right if else if else rather than doing that it's much better when you want some uh, menu based uh, operations right so that's good so yeah that's pretty much it i hope you understand how we actually implement function in bash script right so this is what functions are and and if you look into say init scripts in in your linux system you would find if they have implemented a lot of functions so just i mean just to get a whole grab of it right you can just go through the init scripts in your linux system okay so that's pretty much it for functions i hope you like the videos guys please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and if you have any concerns any uh, doubts uh, feel free to put it in comment and i'll surely reply to it right okay thank you for watching